Start off, congratulations, Roman, on the victory. Thank you. I noticed that when you were getting punched, you were smiling. Can you just maybe talk about those emotions? Uh, man, I've been waiting to get into a fight, you know? And uh, guy was game, man. Had a fucking concrete chin. Uh, so, you know, he took some he took some big, big heavy shots. Normally, those some of those shots put people out. A couple of those shots would have put anybody else out. Tough dude. But, um, yeah, I was just happy to be in there and, and actually in a real fight. Still to not make it out of the first round. <laughs> At any point, did you think that fight was going to make it out of the first round? Um, I don't know. I, I, I'll be real. I put a lot of, like, going back to it, I put a lot of pressure going into, like, for whatever reason, going into the fight. Uh, as I stepped in the cage, I was, like, trying to finish him in the first round. I'm really not happy with my performance at all, um, to be to be frank, man. I was forcing a lot of shots, and um, I was trying to get him out in the first round. That I just let things come to me. So, you know, happy with the, with the win, but not really happy with my performance at all. You're being referred to as the human highlight reel. What kind of pressure comes with those kind of nicknames and expectations? So, yeah, yeah, like I said, that I mean... You see it, man. I'm, I, I did it to myself today. I let I kind of let the hype get to my head, and I went out there and tried to – I mean, I did put him out in the first round, but you can see it. I was just – everything was just loading up on. I was forcing shots, and um, definitely right now I'm going to go – I'm going to go back to the drawing board, take some time with my family, go back to the drawing board, and get my head on right, get, you know, get this fucking media stuff, you know, out of the way and stop worrying about what anybody thinks. And in your last fight, you called for a top 10 opponent. Mm -hmm. You didn't get that this time around. With a highlight reel like that, are you expecting to get that for your next fight? Honestly, man, uh, like I said, like highlight reel or not, I'm not, I'm not happy with my performance at all. Um, so at this point, man, I just, I just want to go. I mean, dude had a hard chin, heavy, like I was made out of concrete, dude. So um, I think I, I, I think I'm going to broke my hand. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go home. I'm going to say, stay here. Uh, go on vacation with my family, enjoy my enjoy my victory, and then go back to the drawing board and go from there. I'm not I'm not worried about whoever I'm fighting. I'm not calling anybody out. I, I gotta I got shit I gotta work on mentally. So before I do anything like that, uh, con congratulations on your victory, Roman. Thank you. Uh, you said you think you broke your hand. When do you think you you did that? It was the last shot. It was the last shot. Yeah, the, the shot that I put him out with. Uh, I mean, I flushed him with it, but I mean, like I said, dude had a granite chin um, and. Uh, I think I might have broke my hand. I gotta. We'll go. We'll go to the doctor after this and see what's up, and uh, we we'll get a splint on or whatever. But it was the last shot. Okay. And uh, I understand you are. You have a newborn at home, and so uh, did. Have you have, have you noticed any difference in your training or regimen or anything by having a newborn at home or being a dad? Mm. Yeah, uh, I'm up a lot earlier than I normally would <laughs> be. <laughs> no sleeping in no more, for sure. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Jay. Hey, thanks very much, and uh, congratulations on the win, Roman. I, I think I want to say you're probably the most uh, self-critical 8-0 fighter I've encountered, and I'm just wondering if that's kind of normal for you. Do you normally kind of pick apart your wins this way? Definitely. I mean, I'm, I was just sitting in the back talking to my corner, and, like, they're, everybody's happy with my performance, but they also know, we all, we all know what I'm capable of, and that is not it. I mean... I was, like I said, I was just forcing a lot of things in there. I got, I let the hype get to me. Like, you know, I'm going to finish this guy in the first round. I called it, you know, I, I, you know, I didn't need to call it. I didn't need to put that pressure on myself. I could have just went out there and fought my fight and, and put him out in the first round without all the pressure. So that's what I need to do. I just need to go back to the drawing board and just go back out there and have fun and, and do what I do and let the fight come to me. Fair enough. And, you know, when it comes to the hand, that might obviously put you out for a little bit. Is that the, the first time you've had issues with the hand or is this something you've been through before? No, man. Honestly, this is that's this is the first time. Dude had dude had a hard head. All right. Well, I hope it's uh, good news at least. Best of luck moving forward. Thank you, Kobe. Hey, Roman. Congratulations on the victory, buddy. Thank you. You made me money again, so I'm pleased. <laughs> now, now, I where's my where, bro? Where's my vig, man? Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll hook you up. I'll hook you up. So, so hold on a second. You caught him with a jab early, stiff mm -hmm. jab. You could see it rocked him a bit. And then you got extremely aggressive after that. You weren't really throwing combinations. You were just throwing pure power. Yeah. And then you finished him with the combination. Was there some time in there that you realized you were going a little too aggressive? Yeah. Um, I, I'm going to go back and watch it again. I got to, uh, you know, really pick, 
pick apart it, but um, pick it apart. But there was a point in there. I just, I can't, I can't necessarily remember exactly when it was, but I, I felt it. Like I felt this like adrenaline dump, man. I was like, dude, what are you doing? Like, you know, self talk. I was like, bro, just relax, man. Whatever, whatever you said, whatever anybody else thinks, just you're a better fighter. Just fight your fight. And then I started to, you know, find my groove a little bit. Started to get the distance, and then um. Yeah, I got that. I started throwing more combinations instead of just single shot power shots and started getting a little more creative. And yeah, there was definitely a moment in there where I realized what I was doing and I had to check myself. Hey, every fight's learning experience, buddy. Can't wait for your next one. Thank you. Tyler. Hey, how you doing? Congratulations on the win. He's like, hey, man. When you. Um, oh, oh. just the. Uh... <laughs> Little interference there. <laughs> um, so, uh, you know, um, during the fight, I noticed that you were throwing that uh, high knee a lot. Is, uh, was that just you in, in kind of like your flow, or do you use that as a kind of like a uh, occurring strike of yours, like, for example, like a jab? No, I think that was me just forcing it, man. That Like, there's a few things in there that I just forced, like, the, the couple times that, you know, I have like the my couple big knockouts with the flying knee it was flow i just flew right into it and it landed and i can tell I, like i said i can go back and watch this and i'm gonna be very critical about it. i'm gonna be kind of pissed off but um yeah I, I was just forcing it man um and you spoke about um kind of the pressure you were kind of putting some pressure on yourself kind of calling that you're gonna finish this fight in the first round so you know, uh, when you're preparing for your next fight, is that something that you're kind of going to go over in your routine to kind of, you know, get that pressure off of you so you can kind of flow a little bit better? Yeah, I'm just going to, I mean, I just got to change my mindset going into the fight, man. I, I let I let all the I let all the noise get in my ears and, you know, I even made a call like, I'm going to knock him out in the first round. And I'm just, my next fight, uh, it'll be a lot different. You'll see a, a much more clean and, and uh, tactical version of myself. I, I, I can guarantee it. Thank you so much and congratulations on the win.